friend, it's Miss Katrina and the Pet Pals here. Uh, this week I wanted to share a fun little craft that you can do where you can make your very own Pet Pal and decorate them. Um, so the supplies are very simple, very easy. What we need is some paper. Uh, you can use construction paper, any colored construction paper if you want to do, depending upon what color you want to make your dog. Or you can use white paper if you want to color them in and make them have different patterns. Um, along those lines, you're also going to need some crayons or some colored pencils or some markers, whatever works for you. You're going to need something to use to trace with like a pencil or um, a safe pen. Uh, and then we're going to need some child appropriate scissors. And then optional items are if you have a little pom pom that we could use for their nose, if you have some googly eyes that we can use to make for the eyes. Um, if you don't have any of those supplies, then we can just draw them on. If you have those supplies, then obviously you're gonna need some glue to be able to put it all together. So it's a very simple, very quick, very easy, fun uh, little project. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So the first step we can do is we need to trace the outline of our dog's face. So we're gonna do that. This is actually a fun little finger isolation exercise. So you can have your child hold their hand like this, but move their pinky and their thumb apart, keeping these three fingers together to place on the paper to trace. Now, if this is difficult for them to do, or if they wanna make a bigger dog, they can, you can have them trace your hand, but again, you wanna put your hand down in this pattern, having that separated pinky and that thumb, and then we're going to go ahead and trace around that. Okay, now that we've got our hand traced, you can see, you just turn upside down and that's how you can see that we get our dog head. We've got our ears on either side and this little bump is going to be the nose and here's the rest of their face. So the next step is we're going to have to use our scissors safely and we're going to use it to cut out our dog's face. All right, now that we've got our dog head all cut out, the next step is we're gonna color our dog in. So again, if you have different little crafts to use for the eyes and the nose, um, we're just gonna do the coloring first. If we don't have those crafts, then we're gonna draw two eyes and we're gonna draw the nose down here on the end. And then we're gonna color our dog in uh, whatever color we wanna use if we did white paper. Um, if we use different colored construction paper, we can still color it over whatever works for us, right? All right, now that we got our dog all colored in, um, if we didn't already draw the eyes and nose, the last step is to add our googly eyes and our puffy nose. And Miss Katrina only has glue sticks, so we're gonna hope and see if this works. So we gotta get some nice glue and stick the nose. And the nose, again, can be any color that you want um, or any color that you have. Um, sometimes it's gonna be a matter of convenience. Um, sometimes it's whatever imagination takes us to. It looks like mine is all done. All right, I'm gonna ask the number one art critic, what do you think, Mr. Pib and Shelly? I made a mini Mr. Pib. I think he approves. <laughs> well, hope you had fun, friends. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.